What is going on, Swill Gang? I am so excited right now. I'm going to tell you guys in a minute just why I'm so excited. But, you know, I'm really excited for you guys. One reason why I'm excited is because you guys decided to come here and check out another video here for Last Fortress Underground. All right, so we got a brand new, I don't know if I can call it seasons or whatever you want, want to call it, but we're going to call it a status. We got a brand new status, a.k.a. season, all right? Uh, but we have another hero here. It's called Chu. All right, she's the geisha. And I'm excited about this one. And there's another hero as well. We'll do another spotlight on that one as well. All right, so I'm gonna call these not necessarily spotlights, but pretty much press play, basically. I don't know, hero pulls or, we'll, we'll figure out a name. By the time it comes out, you guys are gonna see the thumbnail. You guys are gonna see the, the title and everything like that. So whenever I decide to come up with that different name, it's amazing. But we're gonna go ahead and talk about Chu here. All right, so we're gonna go over her skills. And I'm not here to read the skills for you guys. I know you guys can read on your own, but 90% of the people don't read on their own anyway, so this is why I'm putting all this together. All right, so we're going to talk about some gear possibilities. I don't know if I'm going to go for a lineup thing right now, but we'll, we'll talk about those two things right now. So gear and um, the skills. And maybe, might possibly talk about some lineups. I don't know. Don't want to get into it yet because I haven't pulled these characters yet. I don't have them. Um, but I'm excited that they actually exist. All right, so she's the um, Geisha. She's a Vindicator, guys. I'm excited because Vindicator has always been my most favorite entire faction, okay? Um, I'll be doing my pulls probably a little bit later on, probably tomorrow or so. I might pull today. I don't know. But I want to help out the Alliance nonetheless. All right, so she's a tactical planner. She's support, and she's summit, all right? So she, um, so tactical planner deals tech damage. The higher the it, the higher the damage, okay? Keep that in mind when we're talking about the gear. All right, then she's support. So this hero excels at providing teammates with buffs. Okay, and then summit. Not sure exactly what that one is. Good Lord, what is that? Well, we'll find out what that is at some point. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this chick's chickadee skills. All right, so skills number one out of five, it's called Death Symphony. All right, so it deals 60% attack damage to all enemies or to all enemy targets and applies an, uh, applies the echoing status to them. All right, so echoing when taking damage takes 18% extra attack damage from Chu. Expires after being triggered two times. Okay, we have to look at that again, guys, because it deals 60% attack damage to all enemy targets and applies the echoing status to them. Okay, so I guess whatever she uses to attack them is gonna pretty much like multiply. That seems pretty cool. I, I'm, I gotta start doing my pulls right now, guys. I really wanna do my pulls now, but I don't wanna wait 24 hours. I just don't want, actually, no, tonight. I can do my pulls tonight. All right, so I'm excited about that. Yes, I will definitely be doing that. All right, so the level effect for that is 60%, 68, 76, 84, and 100. And the damage, let me see. So the extra attack damage goes from 18, 20.4, 22.8, 25.2, and 30%. And the trigger limit goes two across the board. So that's that's cool. I just I imagine right now a lot of guys have already pulled this already. I'm sure by at this point, at the time of this recording, I'm sure maybe half the server already got this this character right here. Alright, so the second skill is called Hidden Strike. Applies the reflecting effect two times in the normal attack, dealing 25% attack damage. And 12.5% attack damage to random targets, respectively, each time. All right, so damage 25%, 35, oh, 30, 35, 40, 50. All right, and then the extra attack damage, attack damage to random target, respectively, each time 12.5 all the way to 25. I'm not reading all those numbers, guys. That's a lot. Okay. Next skill is called Call of Death. When the heroes attack enemy target subject to the echoing status, they will restore some hit points equal to 25% of Chu's attack attack. And Chu will gain 25 focus. All right, so we're gonna read that one more time, guys. I have to make sure it sinks into my brain, okay? So when your heroes attack an enemy target subjected to echoing status, they will restore some hit points equal to 25% of choose attack attack okay 
That is amazing right there. Honestly, that's good. That's good. I think this is probably going to be like, almost like, I don't want to call her a healer. She, cause of course she is support. So if you can probably, I don't know, some of the lines I do use, I use Alyssa and I could probably take Alyssa out of the equation now. Not that she's bad, but this is going to be something that's going to be a little bit more because the, the, the heroes that are attacking something with an echoing effect, they're going to get that extra health. So this is going to be a benefit, guys. I would definitely, I man, <laughs> God. yeah, I'll have to spend for this one, guys. I'm going to have to break out the, I'm going to have to break out the card for this one, like for real. All right. I got to level her up max. All right. And I intend on it. All right. So the level of well, the treatment effect goes from 25 to 50 and the focus goes up from 25 up to 50. All right. So that's good there. I'm already signed off on this character. All right. So next skill is called death finale. When casting the death symphony uh, deals 10% extra attack damage to max times that the echoing status can be triggered plus one. I really don't understand that part. So I'm reading this for all for the first time, guys. It's not like I, I read this and then whatever. I've been reading this for the first time because this just came out like a few hours ago. All right, so when casting the Death Symphony deals 10% extra attack damage, the max times that the echoing status can be triggered plus one. Okay, so the damage goes from 10%, 12, 14, 16, and 20. And the triggering, uh, triggering limit goes one across the board. So keep in mind that the first skill and the first, the fourth skill go hand in hand. All right, so let me see. The next skill is called graceful pit or spin. Graceful spin. Uh, when being attacked, nine percent chance of to be immune to damage this time. All right, so being attacked, nine percent chance being immune to damage this time. Wow. All right, so the trigger effect goes from 9%, 10.8, 12.6, 14.4, and 18%. Wow. That's all I got to say, guys. Wow. That's what she looks like. Maxed. Okay. This is good. I like her a lot. So far, so good. All right, so then we'll talk about the gears next. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Click on the first skill, see what it is. And then we got tech damage. So let's go to our gear factory. And essentially, like I say in every season, whatever season gear comes out, it should benefit those heroes that it comes out with. So it should be with that one. So this is tack damage. So we're gonna go through the different seasons because you may not have the new the new gear. I know I don't because I haven't even pulled any pulls and all that good stuff like that, you know. So we got the Ripper Strength and we got the Ripper Intelligence. So of course we're gonna put the Ripper Intelligence on her, okay? And this is what it's gonna have. All right, so let's see. Two set for this is going to be normal attack damage plus 20%. And then four sets going to give normal attack cause bleeding, dealing 35% damage to the target for two rounds. What? What? All right, so this is pretty decent. I think I would, I would probably throw this on her. All right, let me see. Hold on. Hey, how it makes you go back out like that. And then we got the Great Bone Helmet, we got the Great Beast Armor, and we got the Beast Blood Amber. Okay, so that's what we got going on there. That is fantastic, guys. Fan-freaking-tastic. Wow. Okay, so in the event that you don't have, you know, you don't have the gear to put on her, you're going to have the other seasons. So season one, of course, we're going to put some Hurricane on. I think that's going to do her some justice there. Um, I wouldn't put really put Castle on her. Season one, you could probably put a cop apocalypse intelligence on her. Yeah. You can throw some death on her intelligence from season one. And then season two, I don't know if the healing, the healing gear, gear is going to scale with the echoing effect. I'm not really sure about that one. I would have to actually ask somebody or test it out myself if I can get, um, get my hands on this character and then see if this healing gear would probably help out with the echoing effect. It probably would but I'm not really 100% sure about that. All right, so it's, that's definitely something to try because I do have this gear and I have this gear maxed out. So that's gonna be something I'm about to do on the side project here for myself. I'm gonna be really busy in this game, guys, like for real. On this season alone right here, alone. I'm gonna be right here a lot. Um, Resolute had some changes for season three, so I'm not really sure about that one. It might be okay for her, possibly. Um, season four, the self-healing maybe 
Self-healing intelligence, possibly. I'm not really sure. I would have to test that one out as well. I guess they are going to call this season six. They didn't really actually announce it. Season six, we didn't get any countdown. We didn't get any nothing. Nothing like that was the same. That's how I really didn't understand it. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, season six, I would definitely throw the season six gear on her. Um, the Ripper intelligence for sure. Um, now, as far as lineups go, I, I, I really don't know, guys. But anyway, any lineup that I possibly use, and I, I got, I, I am really behind on a lot of these lineup videos. I was promising you guys, but I'm, I'm probably gonna take Alyssa out of the equation and put her in there just to, you know, replace and see exactly what goes on. Because Alyssa is good, um, but I have a couple different secret lineups that I use on myself, and it's pretty, it's pretty, um, pretty kung pao chicken, you know. It's nice, uh, but definitely stay tuned for all that, guys. I uh, hope you guys do enjoy this this little season we got going on. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video.